It is the 6th of July, 2021. It's time. Time, time to go see what kind of damage has happened to my Poland. It is September 11th, 1939, and it's time for secrets. End of secrets. Clear with a turn. Oh, Julius, remember all the hard years to stay put, not move, and defend their positions. Julius, why? Why would you do this to me? This is not a good thing. My God. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh. Fortunately, it's just the Lodge group. Oh, no. Do they even get a defense bonus? No. No, they don't. Oh, these guys are then ruined. They have no way out. Thanks, Julius. Thanks. <laughs> okay, all reserves down south. All right, let's see what the Germans did. Uh, northwest, this was anticipated. Clearing out the pockets, also anticipated. Ah, they did the same thing I did. They first attack and then use the artillery and then attack again. <laughs> all right. Yeah, they learned. Good, good. Uh, oh god, this turn is going to be disastrous. Yeah, that was expected. I kind of knew that guy would, would be getting away. Uh-huh, yep. Oh, okay, yeah. I was hoping those guys would get away, but I guess not. I guess they're staying there as well. Alright, the Germans are pushing through here. As expected. I'm not sure they can really get far from there, though. Alright, this pocket. Or it's not a pocket yet, but it might be soon. Now it's a pocket. Not a huge one, but yeah. Some casualties. As expected. Ooh, more casualties. Yeah. Ooh, 1,000 artillery. Ooh, ooh. That is ugly. That looks bad. Okay. The Poznan group start, has to start evacuating now. Last chance. Last call. Whatever you can, get out of there. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Did I even get any casualties from that? 600 German casualties. Okay, that's something. Wow, okay. This, this turn just turned the game into a really grim situation. That, that just ruined my day. Okay, good. Successful hold. That's why those units were told to stay put. They have good entrenchment out there. They can withstand a little bit of damage, but not much. Yeah, those units are pretty much lost. Yep, gone. This, this disaster zone, I'm so pissed off at that. That command, that commander, Julius, somebody needs to shoot that man. We're losing some of our best troops in that pocket now, because he couldn't fucking, ah, ah, uh, I'm, I'm, <sighs> oof. Remarkably pissed off. Another good hold. Some good news to the day. That's not good. That's that's exactly what I was afraid of. Like, did the Germans even have a bridge there? No. The Panzers just forded the river and just went going. I was expecting them to lose at least some more movement points, but no, I guess not. Oh. <sighs> Now the north side is going to start taking hits. Oh, we got some German casualties there, I think. 1100, that's good. And 
another thousand. Ah, oh, recon mission, okay. Yeah. That was our, like, one hope for escape for these guys, but that's gone now. They'll be destroyed next turn. There will just be no way out of that. Uh, I don't want to. Okay. Let's check what we can do up north. I'm so tempted to rush up there. Cut them off again. I'm going to do it. Fuck it. There you go. Now you get some troops cut off again. How do you like that? <clears throat> These guys, because they have low readiness now, they're not going to get full readiness, I, I think, next turn, because they're not getting full supplies now. Alright, it's time to pull these guys across. Have the engineers do their thing. Or not, because they failed. Please, somebody blow that bridge. Please, somebody blow that bridge. Please, somebody... God damn it. Very, very bad. That was very, very bad. Well, hello there. They're probably going to rush up there, but these guys aren't really worth much, so I don't mind. What did I just do? I pushed the very wrong button. My god, that was supposed to be an artillery strike. I'm amazed that worked. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's that was not supposed to happen like that. I was I was supposed to push an entirely different button with an entirely different purpose. Absolutely fucking not. Holy shit, that's terrifying. That almost screwed us over big time. Oh, fuck you. Pay me. Huh? Huh? What's up with the northern corner, huh? You like it? <laughs> oh, this is weird. This is so fucking weird. It's my one little victory among all this bullshit. I'm tempted to now pull these guys away because we really might have to. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next order of business. Get you across that river. To the good side of the river. 
Yeah, none of you are properly entrenched. So get out. Get out. Run. Blow a bridge because we're petty about it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Not gonna try it. Still do some rail transfers here. Mm. Look at some casualties. Oh boy. Hopefully they're in a firm enough formation that they can hold. Okay, um... Yeah, so the 29th Infantry Division... I'm, I'm tempted to pull them further south, but this overload of German troops here is, is giving me concerns about what's going to happen next, so maybe not. Oh yeah, there's an SS unit there. I was hoping to catch it unguarded, but nope. No such luck. That's what you get for reconning in force. So, this group here has no hope. Unless... <gasps> hope! A very fucking slim, but existent hope. This unit was not part of that Lord's command. Neither is this. We have to pull the airplanes out before they get blown up. Holy moly, that might save the day. I mean, the Germans are probably going to start cutting them down, but at least they're not automatically cut down. Like, they don't just get to sit around. They have to fight some more or move some more to get them enveloped. So that was worth something. That was not pointless. Those are just tanks. There's no point shelling tanks. We don't do much damage to those. There's some infantry there as well. Let's shell those. We might have more luck. <clears throat> well, no. Well, 100 casualty. It's something. And it reduces their readiness further, so it's worth something, I think. Okay, this turn could have been a lot worse than it turned out to be. Okay, uh, I need to know what's there. If they're... Uh, I don't have any air assets down south. Okay, in that case, I'm not going to dare. We're going to pull back from here. 
I was tempted to try and rush them here, and maybe rush this unit down south from here, but... Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Ah! Misclick! Misclick! My god, I'm an idiot! That was the second bad one today. Oh, oh no. Okay. We have to be way more careful with these mouse clicks now. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, that is not good. That was a fuck-up. Of the worst kind. My god, I hate that. I hate that I just did that. <clears throat> right. Well, that was terrifying. And absolutely a massive mistake on my part. What's the situation here? So the Germans are going to try to envelop us. But I don't think they can. Not effectively. <laughs> we have some ability to move around here. We're in forests, and like tanks and such attack into forests at 75% power. Which, I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Heavy forests would put it down to 50. We don't have much of that. We've had some time to dig in. Yeah, these guys are well dug in. They're not going nowhere. Same with these guys. They're almost fully dug in. And some of them are in heavy forest, too. Okay, interesting turn. I'm not sure what to make of it. Have, giving, salvaging these guys to give them at least a minor supply line might be a lifesaver. It might not mean anything in the long run. We might still lose just as bad, but it gives me hope. Most likely what's going to happen is these three units are going to combine to attack this unit here and cut them off again. But these guys have enough supply in stock that they can at least defend for a little while. I think. Oh, we have a card here. Ready unit. That's just a readiness boost, isn't it? Increased readiness by 225 points. But readiness doesn't really do much for us. If we need to counterattack somewhere, then that might be useful. But currently, we don't have any place where we need to do that. Can we pull this guy back? No. I'm just amazed we managed to attack those Germans and push them back by one hex. That was un totally unexpected on my bar part. Mart. Mart. And again, we have a massive amount of Germans cut off from supply. Like these guys, 2,000. I don't think those numbers are accurate. I don't think that unit has 5,700 troops. We just don't have enough recon to be sure. But like, still, let's say they're 3,000 units each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, that's a low value. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, Solid 30,000 Germans cut off from supply for another turn. And like these guys are low readiness. Fairly low morale, even. Like, our guys have gotten morale boosts. So, I don't know. There might be hope yet. Oh, 
the 44th Division. We were supposed to send them down south to help these guys out. Now might be the time. We could ship them here. And if these guys live next turn, if nothing else, they could fight a whole this city. Radom's a victory point city, after all. Although, this German push is starting to get alarmingly close to Warsaw. So we might instead... set them up there. Oh boy. I'm so pissed off at this. This bullshit right here. They just have so much better weapons, so much better artillery, so much better guns, so much more guns. I don't think there's any point in us trying to strike them back. We can artillery them with what little we have. Could disrupt them a little, at least. You could blow that bridge, maybe. Huh? Nope. How about now? Huh? Huh? Yes! Good boy. What about you? You have a bridge, too. Blow it. No? Try it. Ah, fuck. Oh well. An attempt was made. Yeah, we're gonna hold on to Warsaw here. I don't want to start doing any dumb moves. I do want to keep the 5th Division here. They're well dug in. They're not defending against much, though. There ain't much movement. Though The Germans have a 3rd Panzer here. They're not going to want to cross this swampland here. They're going to want to try to rush these bridges here and get to Warsaw. So the 5th being around here, almost fully entrenched. These guys here, they have a fortress with almost 300 fortification points. This guy has 140. This guy's closing up to its 100, 100 max, so I'm, I'm gonna keep them there. <sighs> Not sure if we can save the Poznan units, but we can try. That mechanized unit might just rush in here and drive circles between us, but we have, again, enough movement that we can stay and keep this open for ourselves. Hmm. Nothing I can really pull out of there. Nothing I can rail transport effectively. This is our gamble now, holding Warsaw. Two more turns, and then there's a die roll at the start of the turn, and if we're lucky, Stalin will let his pets come across the border and help us out. I'm really hoping that happens, because that might save our asses. Big time. Well, that's it. I think that's it again. All we can do. There's some artillery. We have, to, have we fired that? Not yet. It was worthless. This artillery hasn't fired yet. Oh, right. Well, don't mind if I do. A whole hundred German casualties. Fuck all. But it was worth a shot. Yeah, 
I don't want to move these guys around anymore. They're well in, well dug in, so if the Germans try to push them off, at least they can hold a little better. Or at least inflict more casualties. These three units here might actually need to be moved back. They're not that well dug in, and those are panzers. So it might be advisable to pull them back. Okay, forward one can move. How far? That far. Desperation time. They are alarmingly close to Warsaw. Like, if these tanks just drive ahead, one, two, three, four, five hexes a turn, another one, two, three, they're in combat range. In two turns. And we have to survive six. And Warsaw is worth... It's only worth ten victory points, though. How much did they need? Report. Germany has 28, needs 49, so they need 20 more victory points. 10 in Warsaw. They're going to take Poznan now, which is 2. Wads is fighting. Radom is going to be fighting. Gielce is going to be fighting. Krakow is fortified to hell and back. That's worth five points, so that's a big one, actually. We have to hold that. Otherwise, things are fucky-wucky. Uh, okay, these units actually go to central Krakow. Oh, boy. Some bonus casualties on the German side. Wow, an 86 morale. <laughs> Let's not mess around with those guys. There's not a lot of them. We have good recon on that. We have a massive overpower here. Fuck it, let's do it. Sometimes you gotta attack. Sometimes you gotta give the Germans a bit of their own medicine. Because we're still dug in. In the city. Another one of those minor moral victories. There's an open road. An alarmingly open road. We do have cavalry, though. Like, if they try to rush that gap, we can move in behind them. Hopefully cut them off. I'm really proud of what I've done in the Northeast, though. I'm quite happy with this. Like... It forces at least one of the German units everywhere to fall back. Somewhat. And probably fall back enough that they can reestablish those supply lines and secure them. Because if they cannot... Okay, these guys move forward here. These guys close the gap here. Somebody has to close this gap here or we still have supply. Okay, they can close this gap and close up that group. But still. I'm more worried if they try, just try to push forward. Although, if they just try to push forward, these guys are going to come down south. Cross the swamp and just mess with them. I'm seriously considering just having this guy try to march to Königsberg. Zero, zero, five victory points. Like, if these Germans don't push north to secure that route, and they might have their hands full down here, one of these units is going to slip south, one of these units is going to... Just imagine a 2,300-man strong workers' regiment marches into Königsberg and takes the city without a fight. How... Fucking glorious would that be. Absolutely. Don't think it's gonna happen, but a man can dream. That's it for today.
Thanks for watching.